Hi friends, so this video shows how to generate open API specification, API client and server step. So first we need to install Node.js. So for that we need to add Node.js repo. So this command will add Node.js repo. So I am using Ubuntu. So this same command will work for Ubuntu Debian. So okay done. After that we can run sudo apt install node.js. You can see the message node.js is already the newest version. Okay. So after that we need to clone swagger editor from github.com swagger hyphen api. We need to clone this project. So I already cloned it. You can see the project directory here. Let me go to that path. Swagger editor. So from this project directory, we need to run npm start. So this npm start command will run npm install. Then it will start the Swagger editor server. So please wait. This Swagger editor is up and running, starting up HTTP server available on localhost 3001. So let me go to browser. Here you can see the Swagger editor window. On the left side you can edit. This is the Swagger spec. In the right side you can see the HTML form. So let me, uh, so here you can see the, so if you already have uh, Swagger or OpenAPI specification, you can import it from URL or from file. You can also save the specification in JSON format and in YAML format. So let me clear this editor. I'm going to import from URL. So let me kill one URL here, then click on OK. See, so I import from another open API spec or Swagger spec. And let me, so we can convert a spec to an open API 3 format. That option you can see, you can, you can also convert to YAML. Then you can generate client. So these are the clients available. Go flash HTML. So here HTML, HTML2. So these are the clients. So when you click, for example, HTML, you generate the client and you can download it. See, you can download it in zip format. So if you open it, so here you can see index.html similarly you, we can generate server go server and python flask you can generate a server code from spec so let me generate one server code I am going to generate Python Flask. So let me open this zip file and here you can see the Python server code. Okay, 